Welcome to the Somme Vigil podcast series, which tells the story of the Battle of the Somme in the words of those who were there. I'm Simon Bendry, Director for UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. This series was commissioned by the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport and developed in partnership with the First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme and Chrome Radio. It was first released to accompany the Somme 100 Vigil at Westminster Abbey, held through the night of the 30th of June and into the morning of the 1st of July 2016, to mark the centenary of the Battle of the Somme. In this podcast, a member of the Hertfordshire Regiment remembers the challenges of being on the march. The troops were often exhausted and hungry. Company Sergeant Major George Gregory was born in London in 1890. He joined his local territorial battalion in 1914, serving with them overseas from November that year. He remembers being on the march. We strode along together and talked, mostly grumbling about the alterations of rendezvous and eventually arrived at Crucifix Corner, where the battalion were rolling blankets. They had three or four hours sleep, having had breakfast and all. To say I was mad is to put it mildly. I went to one cook, who had been doing nothing much for four days, and at last got a cold rasher of bacon and a piece of bread to eat. I had been out in the open in an attack, and had no sleep for three nights. I'd marched God knows how many miles to an altered rendezvous, and here I was expected to like it. Moreover, be on parade and set the company an example and possibly marched 10 to 15 miles to prove it. We eventually arrived at Valois, but at what hour I have no recollection. I have noticed that details during periods of great fatigue elude me, no matter how hard I try to recall them, and this is one of them. Whether we stayed at Valois more than one night, I cannot say, but we left a railhead town and entrained for an unknown destination within a day or two. Long before we got there, I knew where we were going. I could feel that awful damp chill of Belgium in November, pervading our carriage. So it is goodbye, Som. Until next time. George Gregory was awarded the Military Medal and went on to serve in the Second World War, reaching the rank of captain. In civilian life, he was a farmer. He died in July 1980, aged 93. You have been listening to The Story of the Somme, a Chrome Radio production for the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport, in partnership with UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. The producer was Katrina Oliphant. In the next podcast, Philip Sim talks about his grandfather, George Ashurst, who fought at the Somme.